Hello and welcome to De Gobbo's Grotto. My name is Andy and welcome to another um, Blood Bowl YouTube video. Um, I know I seem to be doing a lot more of this than my tabletop um, builds and stuff like that, but thanks to lockdown, I've created this, uh, we've, well, we've become part of an online community, so um, that's what we're getting at the moment. Um, today's game is from um, the Bad Moon Bowl League. Um, and we are in Tiki Hut Division 1 um, and uh, this is game number 6 we're playing our Welfs, our Scarlet Scouts who um, are 4-0-1 four, four which is a, is a good run for me um, but we are facing Dwarfs today um, uh, which is a bit of an etiquette, eti uh, whatever it is um, A bit of a sort of bogey team for us really so we've got um yeah two troll slayers uh one with mighty blow uh two blitzers one might blow tackle which is going to kill any dodge we've got two runners one an actual runner runner with pass which is weird um one block uh two mighty blow and two guard um long beers but look at all that tackle so he's got loads of bench which is a bit strange for dwarfs three re-rolls and apo so this is a long running team oh no only five games really well oh, they've killed lots of people injured lots of people i should say good to do three one one so we definitely don't want this to uh we definitely don't want them to win but um i've got a feeling that the uh the dwarfs are going to hurt us so here we go Excuse my sniffing. I do apologise. Uh, I do want to do all that afterwards. So we've got five journeymen uh, plus petty cash. Now, the obvious thing is to go for a wizard, isn't it? But do I want a second player and go for Willow? Thick skull, AV8, strength 4, might prove to be a bit of a nightmare for him. 150, might start sucking some of the MVP. Long stride's a bit of a douche. Obviously, more goes well out of my price range. So is air drill. So, do I go for that extra player or do I go for a wizard? I think I'm going to take Willow. Just because he's going to bash me to bits, isn't he? It just gives me a little bit more spine. Um, wizards against him, maybe the, the, the lightning bolt would be great, but the fireball will be dog's mess. Because last time we used a fireball, um, on four goblins it did nothing whatsoever. Nothing whatsoever. So, um, yeah, all four, all four players survived. So we're not worried about that. So uh, yeah, we'll see see how this goes. Uh, antithesis, that was the word I was looking for. Antithesis. So uh, yeah, the dwarfs are everything that we're not. They're strong. He's got lots of mighty blow and all that tackle counters whatever dodge I've got. Not that I've got a lot of dodge. I've got four, four, two, five dodges, haven't I? Two catches. Two wood dancers and uh, and the scarlet himself, but all that tackle is just going to burn through it. So hopefully Willow can take the brunt of it, really, and the tree. They can take, they can soak up the hits. Right, so let's have a look. He was going to obviously try to bash the snot out of me. So let's uh, let's let's do that. Really, that's not where I want my tree, is it? So I think we have our tree there, and we'll have Willow there as well. Let's just put some skills up. And our one of our loners. Oh, that's amazing. So we could actually put our other loner there, couldn't we? That loner there. 
Uh, do we really want our war dancers there? Catcher, catcher, war dancer, war dancer. Scarlet, do we really want Scarlet in the line of fire? Not really. So we'll put a war dancer there instead. We'll change him to there. I think that'll do. So I'm just expecting like a big horrible first round. Actually, I'm, I'm expecting 16 turns of pain for my Widows. I, I'm really not looking forward to this matchup. Not because of the coach at all, no. I just. Uh, dwarfs are absolutely not for us. Horrible team for us. And, and that is even worse. So the GFIs is probably worse for him than it is for us. However, like rain would be better for us. Short passes, and we're not really going to be passing. Um, we can do handoffs instead, but still. Here we go. Here comes the pain. Boom, straight off the bat. Straight into an injury. No, into a stun. There we go. Straight off the bat, though. Surprised he didn't go for the Dauntless Tree hit, to be fair. Giving me a chance to bash his... Um, Dwarf there. Because we're going to want rid of that Troll Slayer, definitely. We haven't got any Mighty Blow, which is an issue, obviously. And here comes the guard. And he's going for, going for Willow. He's, got, he's failed the Dauntless, so it's just going to be a dice roll. First push. Uh, we'll push him to there, so he's going to have to go uphill. But he passes his Dauntless this time. And this time, shall we stretch him out so he's out here? Yeah, let's do that. He's the one we want to kill then, isn't he? Because he's got Mighty Blow. So he's picked up the ball, no problem. Here comes the here comes the rest of the cage, or it will be. We're not going to really. Are we going to really be able to get at the ball? So he's gone uphill, absolutely ridiculous, of course, and he gets double block. Of course he does. Of course he does. It's the first thing he's going to get is that. So there's my first fail. So I'll skip that. Um, so this needs to be addressed. Not so worried about that. He needs to die. So let's do that first. We can do it with him. Which we get. Happy to give him the punt of his in his face. Um, four, five. So now I'd need more to. So happy to to go here. I need that guy there. Um, I think Willow can go for a single punt on his own. And of course he doesn't get what we need him to get. So we're going to give him a punt there. We'll get the dodge that we need. Um, we could move the cage, really, I suppose, couldn't we? Uh, the 
So, do you know what? Let him score, that's fine. We could let him score. Just get our people in place for a cage bust. I want my tree up, really. Liking him next to Scarlock, though, are we? Not at all. I really want my tree standing, of course, which I'm not going to get. I think he'll stay down the whole game. So I think we go for him with Scarlock himself. He can just stand up. We still want him gone, don't we, really? Or do we just disengage the Scarlet and go for the... Uh, so he's going for the... Wide cage, isn't he? And just pick off some. Oh, tree comes up. Nice. He's definitely gonna. Um, hmm. Do you want to hit with Willow? No, because he hasn't got block. So, really, you want to hit here, don't we? Sidestep, isn't he? So, we'll to put our two sidesteppers here, really. the video let's get back to this I don't care enough to be honest right um, so um, we're gonna hit with Scarlet it's just a push but that's fair enough that's all I need we'll stay where we are um, we do want our strip ball here really And happy can contain him. So we could go here and I'm going to end the turn there. Right, so he's managed to stun my lineman. Obviously, he wants my lineman dead, doesn't he? But 
and I, and I get that. I just I really don't want. So if he's got a loose cage, I can do a leap in this and hit him for a one dice with my strip ball. But really, as a cage, I don't want to be part of, isn't it? So we could hit here with Willow. Potentially knock him down. Hit here. Definitely hit there with my um, with my tree. So let's do that then, shall we? Shall we hit here? It's all with lo um, loners, which is not great. Of course, there's a one. That's not helpful at all. And of course, I don't make any mighty blow hit at all. That was my one chance. Right, so that's him tagged out. He's not tagged out. Because <sighs> he's bloody guard, isn't he? So I need to tag him out, really, and hit here, but I can't do that. So I can try and hit here instead. And then Willow can tag out those two. Neither of them are good guard. One, two, three, four. No, one, two. Leap to there. Hit him there. Fuck off. Another fucking one. Here we go. Another one. Oh, he's got sure hands. Oh, shit. Shit. Forgot this douche boost. Douche canoe's got sure hands. That's left me in a bit of a pickle, isn't it? Oh, bollocks. Watch the skull come up. No, missed it. So, in an effort to save my now doomed war dancer. That's everyone tagged up for now, though. It's my fucking tree as well. Oh. Now everybody's going to have a go at him. You watch. Every single dude gets a go at him. And he's got a fucking mighty blow on all of them. Oh, Jesus Christ. You watch. Ugh. Why did I leap into it? A bloody Shorehand's little runner. And my bloody tree, look, he's over there now. So I need to try and kill his, basically his troll slayers. Fucking rooted tree, that's really no good for me at all. Um, should we try and surf him? Is it worth the cost? Not really. He doesn't got any guard around any of them now, so if I just stick someone in there, I can too. Still hit him and hive him off. Ready for it? No, of course not. That would be too easy, wouldn't it? Mighty blow. 
What's he going to do with his troll snare? Because whatever he does is going to bring him into contact with my tree, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> he gives us go instead. No, oh, that's a shame. So now he's in contact with my tree at least. So I've got a mighty blow hit on him, haven't I? So I can hit him with him. You got nothing else to do. To just not stop. Right. Oh. This is annoying because. Huh. So I can hit him. Yeah, let's do that. Good hit. Happy to stay there and give him the extra assist for this. Nice. Happy to do that as well. Oh, please kill him. Yes! It's not his mighty blow one, but it will do. It's not his mighty blow one, is it? But it will definitely do. Shall we go for the guard at the back? <laughs> He's a loner, so if we do that he hasn't got. Please don't get one for goodness sake. <sighs> How many ones do you want to roll for frying out loud? So let's hive this we'll work off a little bit. So we get him going backwards. More ones, ready for the one? Oof. Right, what did he say? do with some more injuries on my... So is he going to try for the surf? Yes, he is. Oh, so annoying. Right, so we can try for the surf instead. Oh, except he's got flipping guard right there, isn't he? Right. So we've got some spaces there, though, haven't we? So we can push... We can't fill that space there, can we? So we really need to make that space filled. Teak, if you could just put a guy there, that'd be amazing. Oh my god, he dodged away with a troll slayer, please. For goodness sake. So, do we surf the guard? Going to need an assist or two, aren't we? Hmm, that's annoying. That's annoying as well, because I really want the extra... Just go for the single dice, couldn't we? No re rolls, and we're going up against block. Mm -hmm. I'm 
and we don't really want him there, do we? So what are we going to do for the bits? Oh, okay, we can do that for the bits. So I think we do two dice block here. Pushes him to there, which is fine. So we'll stay ready for the surf next time, I think, really, rather than now. Um, that's the block. Son of a bitch. Okay. I can't stick any extras in there, that's the problem that I'm having. I can, but it'll be a runner versus it both, really. We put him there and go for him. So it's got two hits already. for the surf now unless he dodges away he can always go for him which will be a dice so he's got a hit here and a hit here excuse me for drinking my tea and cold. Here's the breakout. So I started a stretch, which is the inevitable part of this, isn't it really? So we still need to hit him with a uh, war dancer, which we've got here, who's not engaged in tackle, so we can go and I've got no uh, but I've got no re-rolls, that's the only problem. But that troll slayer is looking deliciously killable. He is looking very nice. So we're going to ignore the ball really, we want to surf this guy and surf this guy. So this is the only way we're going to get injuries isn't it, is if we surf them. And he very luckily gets a pal, 1 in 6, he gets the 1 in 6, oh! Fucking bullshit, absolutely bullshit. Single dice power into Kaz. Absolute bullshit. And there he goes. He's fucking. Nope. I'm gonna go there. Fuck you. I'm gonna surf your dude. Four plus dodge. And he gets it. Amazing. I'm gonna surf this one then. Bellend. Absolute bellend. <sighs> you absolute idiot. What a waste.
Jesus. Not being lucky at all, is he? So yeah, I can I can try and force him to score, I guess. He's gonna try and gab it out for one, isn't he? Absolute bastard! Look at that! For fuck's sake! And my apo's gone as well in the first half. Brilliant. He's going to score anyway, so should we try and kill? Oh, we can't even kill his troll slurries over there. So, what can we do? What can we do? I've got no grab, can't even kill his guard really. Try and kill his runner, can't even really kill that one, can we? But we can. Um, I really want him there, so we can hit him there, couldn't we? So if we put him there, how do we get that across? So we have to take him out, simple as that. We need to push him to there, don't we? Gonna be one of those today, I think. Right, so for the video, um, that's annoying. Uh, I don't know how many ones I've missed so far, how many dodges I've missed. Obviously, tackle is always an issue. Um, but yeah, I mean that's pretty fucking bullshit, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? That's pretty fucking bullshit. So what do we need to do? We need to uh, we need to set up the one turner, which is going to be harder because of the way he's set up. So or we can just 
pulverise that dickhead there. I hate troll slayers beyond belief. So if we kill him with that. Come, we want to, we want to come here, don't we? And push him into here, so that our where's our catcher? Where's our fucking catcher? That catcher. See how this goes, huh? With all these dwarfs on the fucking line. Could have done with it being a touchback, really. But there you go. And of course, Scarlet doesn't even pick the ball up. Because why would he? So if we get rid of this Troll Slayer... Skulls, really, like seriously, skulls. Let's hit his troll slayer with our tree because that's what we want to do and we want to hit him with willow those will be our line we want to hit this idiot here these guys concern me But you, you just watch, you just watch him get fucking, you watch him get fucking blitz. Just watch, it's going to be a blitz. 100% it's going to be a blitz. Right, I'm ready for your blitz now. Every time. And look at that ball placement as well.
every time without fail. Doesn't matter, does it? Every time without fail. Mm hmm There it is. Two dodges, uh, two GFIs. Two GFIs on three plus. And he gets it. Two GFIs on three plus and he gets it. I'll say that again for those who are hard of hearing. That's two GFIs on three plus, and he gets it.
Oh yeah, that was the trouble with that one, wasn't it? Come on, crush his little dwarven skull, for goodness sake. Nope. Yeah, he breaks through. <sighs> kind of getting a bit bored of of stupid stuff like this happening, you know. And he's a runner, isn't he? Mhm. Mm right, so he's sort of safe. Oh, fucking bollocks. That was wasn't too he's, he's only a blitzer, isn't he? So shall we do this bit? Dodge with dodge. Dodge with dodge, but no there he goes. You know, three ones on the trot. Two failures, three failures on the drop. Uh huh. Amazing. That's amazing. Just keep doing what you're gonna do. It's it's absolutely fine. And you know what would I need any of that shit for? Mm-hmm. Here it comes. Yeah, three plus to go for it. You watch. Here we go. Oh, and he's done it. Mm. Is he gonna use a re-roll for it? And he does. He's got to. But of course he does it. Of course he does it. Why wouldn't he do it? Do you know what I mean? Right. Dauntless. Still only a push though. So we'll go this way. For him to now get the. There we go. He's already used his reroll. Boom. Can we kill him? No, but we do stun him. So what we need here, really. What we really need here is. Like three dice without this fucking up. So there's one of my ones I was bound to get today. And there is the rest of them. Fucking loner re-roll.
just can't do it. I can't fight him and the RNG. It's just not fair. Do you know what I mean? And now he's got tackle on my ball carrier. Cleo, can you not, please? Sorry, my dog's annoying me. I cannot fight him and the RNG. I just can't do it. So, you know, what am I meant to do that? Oh, goodness me. Thank Christ for that. 4 plus dodge that he had. Who would have thought? Oh, but the 4 plus dodge that he got. Obviously. I just can't keep doing it. I can't, I can't just keep fighting this and the RNG. It's just so annoying. Right, so all I can do really is try maybe a little bit there and do a Scarlet run. Throw in the blizzard, naturally. Kind of thrown it to him and done the handoff. <laughs> Some good dice. Don't even know what we do here. some stunned and pushed. Yeah, here we go.
fucking tackle, obviously. Neither of these guys have got tackles, so I've got to do. I've got to do the block from him. It's got to be, isn't it? I've got one play. This is it, really. Greedy level up. Four turns to score, isn't he? Well, I couldn't really track that out anymore, really. I just need to hit his runner. Do you know what I mean? The doubt is just... Uh, uh, sorry for being quiet on this video. Um... And it's a little bit salty in the comments, and I don't mean that to be a, a discredit to my opponent. Um, I've rolled a hell of a lot of ones. I'm not, and I'm pretty sure that's not going to be reflected in the in the dice rolls afterwards. But they were strategic ones, you know, ones and twos. So when you roll like trip, so when you're rolling. Um, as well um, yeah that's pretty annoying do you know what I mean that's really annoying <laughs> um, there you go can't be helped I say it's not my opponent's fault Loaders anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. So not my opponent's fault. Um, obviously, when the RNG decides it's going to be your pitch, um, you know, yeah, he has got tackle, but I still need two or more to get away from each of those tackles. Um, and he did trip me up a few times. Um, you know, you roll in um, a skull and two both downs on three dice. I call bullshit on the RNG for that as well. You know, he gets a blitz. Yes, I've got a PD just now. Uh, a blitz every single time I seem to get blitzed against. You know, it's one dice. Like, there's just as much chance of getting a weather change or re-rolls, but none of those things have happened. It's, it's just a little bit hard to take all the time. Every time I come up with a battle plan, he gets derailed by that. I know this dwarf troll slayer. I'm gonna kill you next time. 
most 100% definite lead, I'm going to kill you. There he goes again. Absolutely faultless. Every time. So we can't get we can't lay gloves on him. It's a bit difficult. Um, right, so how do we get our gloves on that little doofus there? We don't, do we? That's the problem, and now he's now he's taken the tree down. So the tree's stuck where he is, which is amazing. Just get more dice on the troll slayer, I think. Personally, because I hate him more. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Absolutely amazing. Getting just a little bored with the one in nines, and I'm getting a little bored with the ones, all the dice rolls that I'm rolling. Just getting a little fed up with them. Not even a little, I'm getting really, really fed up with them. Just as simple as that, really. Every dice roll, every single dice roll today has been dreadful. Um, and he's just smashing them. The fishes is getting let's see Oh, that up feels mine. Oh, um, and mm -hmm. just fed up with it really. Fed up with the inconsistency. All the troubles seem to be my troubles and not his. Sort out this mess here. Not going to stand up. Nope. Definitely not. That would be too good. Too easy. Push, thank you very much. That was really, really, really helpful. Thank you for that. Let's go for another nice push. I don't know if we Keep in contact with the troll so you don't have to run off, do we? Let's get behind this dude here. And he, she is a. Catcher, so she's going to need all the help she can get. I say she. Oh, 
difficult. I'm just going to keep him up high and uh, try and surf him up as he's a fish -y. He, not so much. So, should we get in front here? I'm going to put him into harm's way there a little bit. Scarlet being bruised, do we? So we'll just leave it like that. Thanks for not turning my tree up. You absolute shitter. Another game. And there goes his frenzy. Gonna put his guard going back in. It's gonna go for the one one. I'm not going to let him score there. There we go. One dice, one block. No questions. And now he's got a dice on Willow. I'm going to try and stay this side of the ball, uh, of the dwarf lines. Is he going to stand this guy up? Because we're going to surf him if he does. Nope. Can he score? No, he can't. So he can't score with any. Nope. He stays down. And there he's out. So it's turn 16, he can't score. I can't score. I do not want any else. It can be squishy. Near the wall. Or near murderous wolves. So we'll put him between him, and that way we're a little bit between insulated. So Scarlet, has, uh, my other wood arms have survived, and so has the rest of them. He, I don't know what he was thinking here, he could have gone for the win really. Really not sure why he didn't go for the win, to be honest. Um, he had three turns, four turns, with a, uh, a seven runner. That's just taking the piss, isn't it? And there it goes.
MVP goes to someone I can't fucking keep, so what's the, you know what I mean? What a shitter. So dice rolls, look at those 21s, only 13 sixes. All of those are passes for elves. So this is shit though, isn't it? But that doesn't reflect the amount of failures, look. Uh, so four failures, four dodge failures, four armor failures, two tank groups, five stand up failures. Awesome, isn't it? Let's have a look at the block, block rolls. So 16 skulls and 12 pals, 12 both downs with not very many blocks. So that in effect is actually 28 versus 21. So not very good for us. Um, I'm looking at uh, a draw which is good for me. He had the ball the most. I think I got away with that to be honest. Looking at the game, I'm disappointed that we didn't do better. Um, but given the way that the dice rolls fell, I think we got away with the draw. And I don't know why he didn't push the win. Maybe because he thought if he stretched himself out, then I could try and dislodge the ball from him and go for the win myself. So, and elves are really good on the counter attack. You know, get that catcher in the third, last third of the pitch, and all you've got to do is knock it loose for one player just to pick it up and throw it. But in a blizzard, I think, you know. He probably would have been just better off going for the win. But, you know, that's his decision, um, and that's what he's done. So a little bit salty again from me, again, because I think I was a little hard done by. Poor me. Um, but a draw is a fair result for us as well. So uh, well done to my opponent for doing that. Um, I think that keeps us somewhere near the top of the board, but not the, not the first place. Um, so that's annoying. Okay, but anyway, we'll have a look at the. Should we have a look, look at the table now? Actually, let's just. I think he's run out of data now, so we can have a quick look in the table just to extend the video out a little bit longer. So if you guys aren't getting bored enough as it is, so um, looking at that then. So the leaderboard. Oh, there you go. Four, one, and one puts us there. But Joey has still got his game to play. Um, but with me beating him, a draw keeps me top. Um, obviously a draw has done him and put him in third over Rydog um, so that's good for him so we've got one game left haven't we should we just see who that's against some dead team inexplicably dead the necromantic team there you go against the necromantic team with two flipping wolves Obviously, uh, right, it looks pretty bust up. The shadowy whites get an awful thing, isn't it? Has he played his game? Hmm, okay, so that's going to be interesting to see. He's played his game, so he's one golem down, but he's got his horrible, horrible. Right, just the last part of the video, let's just level our guy up. Obviously we're going to be down a woody now, but it does mean he's not going to die, I suppose that's something. So this is block really, unless it's a double. No, nope, so it's going to be block for him. So now he's a blodge thrower with leader. Good old Skarlok still leading the line. Uh, yeah, so he's a blodge thrower now, which is going to keep him a bit safer, isn't it? Still no throwing skills, but with two pluses um, on short passes, that's no problem, is it really? I think the next one will be a throwing skill, we'll potentially fend. That might be a good one. We're still on the cusp of levelling him. We're still on the cusp of levelling him. He's only one away from a level. He's back next turn, which is no good because he's got a niggle. And we still can't afford another. Still can't afford another elf, can we? I was hoping to start getting some uh, some permanent scouts. It would have been nice to actually keep that um, 
that line over that I rolled a one. Amazing. Right, enough whinging. Get back to uh, the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, my name's Andy from the Gobbledish Quarto, and I'll see you for the last game of this season.